Azu Sonoma from Idea Startup. Welcome to our Startup TV. Thanks, Richard. So we're up at Qualtrics, incredible office up in Stevens Green for your FinTech hackathon. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about your event. We just we know that the next big thing will come from people that are not involved in financial services on a day to day basis. What we decided to do over 54 hours, we're going to be with students, startups, and corporates to solve problems within financial services. And we hope at the end of the 54 hours, we're going to have some great ideas and great solutions. Jazz Martin. Yes. Head of growth at Qualtrics. Yes. Thanks very much for hosting this fantastic idea starter event over the last uh, 52 hours. Yeah, not at all. Um, well, Qualtrics, um, while we've grown to be our kind of quite an established company, we still like to think like a startup, um, and we haven't forgotten our startup roots. So we really like to um, participate, encourage, and facilitate uh, these kind of events. It's really great to see the support that Qualtrics has lent us to the event by providing the facility and making some staff available, and yeah. also to see the local community rocking in behind the event. It's really yeah. Yeah, well, as I mentioned earlier, we really want to be part of this community. Um, it gives us a chance to, um, to to involve people in the Qualtrics story, but it's also a really good opportunity for us to spot the, the leaders of tomorrow and, and spot talent. You know, there's a real talent war in, in Dublin at the moment. Um, in tech, globally, there's a talent war. Um, and this gives us a chance to, to work with some of the best and the brightest as they're kind of beginning their career. Um, and we really look forward to being part of that. You guys are hiring as well, and you've got yes. quite, quite aggressive uh, So, plans. yeah, so this building here that we're in at the moment will fit almost 300 people. Um, we have 140 hired at the moment, um, but we should be up to about 280 by the mid to back end of next year. Fantastic. Well, thanks again, and uh, let's go and take a look at some of the pitches. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Rebecca. And I'm Sean. And our product is called Keep the Change. The base of the product is that young people today find it very hard to save money. The stress and then the effort of having to go to a different bank once a week, taking money out of one account, putting it into a savings account, it's effort and we want to eliminate that effort by automating the process. So for example, um, you go into a coffee shop and you want to buy a coffee for $2.65. Um, this is going to round it up into three euro and that extra 35 cent is going to be changed into a separate account. This account is then um, will be basically to be taken away and uh, you'll be increasing your savings automatically, passively, without even knowing it. So by the end of the week or by the end of the month, you'll be saving up to like 50 euro or more depending on how much you use your card. So it's just a great way to start saving at an early age. So it's been a great weekend so far. We've learned a lot and hopefully uh, we'll be uh, doing well in the presentation. So thanks a lot. My name is Nick. And my name is Johan. We are from Hello Cash. Have you ever been in the situation where you've lost your wallet and you're too embarrassed to ask people for cash? I've been. Me too. Today, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> We've come up with an app that lets you ask people for cash with no worries, no guilt. Just make sure you have a bank account. Hi, my name's Shank. And I'm Sokrat. We are from the QP, signing for Quick Pay. And the main premise of this business is that we're trying to help retailers and consumers themselves save money by circumventing the credit card machines. We're going to reduce the channel, reduce the in-between holders who take your money out just because you had a transaction, you just bought something. We're going to remove that channel which takes off most of your money. We're going to create a device, uh, not a device actually, it's an app which helps you transfer money from one bank account to another directly using QR codes. That's QR stands for quick response basically. So what we do, rather than the retailer creating a receipt, it creates a QR code. That QR code is then scanned by our QP app and the money is directly transferred from our account to the retailer's account. And for that, and we have no credit card machine, therefore you don't pay any transaction fees whatsoever. I'm Jeremy. I'm Hamza and we're working on Minute Money, which is a fast, flexible, anonymized crowdsourcing platform for short-term loans and savings. Follow us on Twitter at minutes underscore money. I'm Adam from Europe, and I'm Ian. Uh, so what Europe is is a peer-to-peer -peer network within Ireland or within Europe and India to allow for money transfer without actually incurring international transfer costs. Hi everybody, my name is Katrina, and uh, uh, here is our project. We're developing an online platform. Uh, of uh, personal credit ratings that will help uh, graduates, uh, foreigners and immigrants to get access to financial services easier. Hello, we are James and Gonzag from Pension Fair. Pension Fair is a way to streamline the, 
onboarding process for, being, for starting a pension, 50% uh, of the young people in Ireland don't have pensions and it's a, it's a good idea to start them up. So we've basically spent the last three days with the team trying to solve this problem. We're absolutely exhausted and we're about to go and present. So uh, yeah, our Twitter handle is Pension Fair and yeah, there's a Facebook page as well. Hopefully uh, you'll hear more info when you see the, 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 the rounds, the presentations. We will see you soon. Tommy from Idea Starter, well done man. Looks like it's been a fantastic weekend here at Qualtrics, some amazing absolutely ideas has. coming through. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, unbelievable. Some of the things we've done have been really, uh, the teams, they've put together such amazing ideas in a space of 54 hours. It's, it's been really incredible. Any highlights? Yeah. Um, burritos look pretty tasty on oh, the Friday evening. The food, between Crust and Burrito Blues, they put together uh, unbelievable meals. Uh, people were fed really well. Uh, the venue is amazing. I have to say a big thanks to Qualtrics. Uh, big thanks to the guys at BOI. They, you know, they brought in so many people. And a huge thank to, to all our mentors. Um, you know, they, we couldn't have done it without them. They gave such support to the teams, directed them in the right direction, and you know, able them to, to, to make some amazing ideas within you know, the space of one weekend. It's been Great really incredible. Great support the local, local ecosystem. And oh, yeah. like the, everyone from the local startup community has been here this weekend. You know, they've been here, they've come on their own time. You know, they've done everything they can. They've given all the advice they can. And it's really, really amazing to, to you know, welcome these guys to this community. Diana, you're the president of TESS. Yes. Would you like to explain what TESS is yes. and how you guys are involved in the Idea Starter program? Yeah, so TESS stands for Trinity Entrepreneurial Society and we are one of the organising teams of this weekend. We're a society in Trinity that's dedicated to improving entrepreneurship and to help uh, foster growth of businesses in Trinity, so for Trinity students. And we run events such as we bring in speakers, um, they're called TESS Talks, and they do people who founded their own business. And uh, um, people like Fergal Quinn, uh, Marco Herbs, founder of Jobs.ie, we had Paddy Cosgrave in as well. And we also run something called TESS Incubator where people can get started on their own business uh, through this program.